Tog, good morning. In any other way, you can say good morning in another different way. Um, today we're talking about volume. And we're going to start with rectangular prisms. This tissue box is a rectangular prism. Okay, we started this yesterday with, we did the surface area of it. So if we wanted the surface area, we would want to know how much paint or how much little thin cardboard it took to make this box. Okay, that would be the surface area. How much paint it would take to cover this thing. Volume is how much it would hold inside. Okay, how much volume, how much will it hold? And just like, just like, um, surface area, there's a formula or a puzzle to help us figure this out, okay? We still have the same dimensions. We have a length, a width, and a height, all right? But our formula is different to find volume of a rectangular prism. The formula to find the volume of a rectangular prism is just length times width times height, okay? And, you, and think about it, you know, you want the length times the how deep it is, times how high, and that's going to tell you how much it will hold inside, right? Like if this was waterproof, you could fill it up with water, you know, and just right to there, that's how much water it would hold. All right, let's do an example here. Let me draw a rectangular prism. Getting good at this. Okay, there's our rectangular prism. And the measurements are 28, 12, and 9. 9, 12, and 28. And I think this is meters. Now, once again, you know, it's pretty obvious here which we would call the length, which we would call the width, and which we would call the height. Right? I would call this the height, because that's the vertical. The length, I guess, see, you could go either way, you know. I call this the length because it looks the longest, but it's not. And this is the width, all right? Now think about it. If we put this as length and this as width, would it matter? No, it's not going to matter because you're still going to multiply all three together, all right? This is our puzzle. Here's our pieces. So all we do is volume is going to equal 28 times... 12 times 9. Alright. When we do that, alright, hold on, this is pretty difficult. It's going to take me a minute. Uh, that's going to be 3,024 meters. Volume is always cubed to the third power. Cubed. And why is that? Because we got one meter. This length is one meter. This is another meter, type of meter. And this is another type of meter. You have meters times meters times meters. Or meters cubed. All right? Always volume is always cubed. Okay? This is not rocket science. All right? Different shapes have different formulas. All right? I'm going to make another video here in a second on how to find the volume of a cylinder, all right? But this is a rectangular prism. That's how you find the volume. Peace!